Now this slide is the major important one that is the third one of this particular tutorial of introduction to VLSI design which is nothing but regularity, modularity and locality. The designer must understand what is regularity which is nothing but it is a decomposition process must not produce a large number of blocks. What is that? We have told you earlier that means this particular thing. See if a adder is there and the whole operation of a four adder it is now a very time consuming and tedious job. Now a better way to go for it nothing but need to be regular to each other. Regular to each other means the four adder need to be segregated into individual adders so that the individual adders also can be performed the operation by segregating its further job to the sub modules. If you do so automatically we can access a very 100% accuracy on the target object. So that is why we must go for the regularity. Followed by modularity. Now modularity I told you earlier also that modularity is nothing but say suppose uh, a kitchen is there where individual utensils are there we are using. Uh, but what you can do is that say suppose we want to use a similar kind of thing uh, in that particular kitchen. Say suppose spoon and fork. Now that particular section need to be accumulated and that particular two sections need to be modeled to each other. Uh, must be modeled to each other you know the point is that uh, here in this particular modality what we want to say is that the functional blocks they must have well defined interfaces and functionality moving ahead with the locality locality is nothing but the individual cases where it must be close to each other in order to reduce the interconnection length while discussing the same thing i mentioned here in this particular diagram so that you can understand very nicely see in this particular case where modularity means left one what I have crossed it that is a bad modularity and the right one it is a good modularity. Say suppose in a box there is A and A1 where A1 is nothing but the sub module or sub uh, terminal factor of target object A then it is a very bad pl placement which is there in the left side that is this one. Where in this particular case where this particular A where A1 is the sub module that need to be you know uh, closer to each other so that only we can say that it is a good moduling. So the way we have done it like this way similarly for B1 and B and similarly for C and C1. Here in this particular right side what I have tried to mention is that if A1 is the sub module of big A then A1 can be incorporated in A or maybe you know uh, maybe you know it put it can be put closer to each other so that it can be a good module section by, or it can be a good modulization. We call it this particular thing is a good module factor and a good floor planning. Similarly B and B1 and similarly C and C1. Coming back to the locality, this is nothing but a channel. Channel means what? In that particular channel, that is nothing but a routing channel in between which is there between the CLBs. Now each boxes here we can see that is nothing but a configuration logic block. Now say suppose in this particular case where it is S I have mentioned that is nothing but the source and D is nothing but the destination. If source and destination they are of the same category then they must be local to each other in order to reduce the interconnection length as we know that by making the interconnection length by allowing in using the aluminium or maybe some other cases it is getting very very costly. In order to sacrifice this thing obviously we need to understand that area need to be reduced simultaneously also the whole packaging and bonding need to be done by using reduced cost. While keeping in this thing in mind, if say suppose the source, now this particular CLB, if it is you know staying apart from or maybe far from destination, which is having the same thing, need to be communicate between uh, source and destination. In that case, to connection of interconnection of source and destination, a bigger interconnecting length would be required, which is undesired. If it is possible for proper placement, what we can do is that that particular source need to be can be connected local to each other to the destination so that in that particular routing channel there should should be a very minimum amount of interconnection length for using this whole project done. This is a very good quality of locality. So again at the outset we must say in this particular introduction to VLSI design that regularity, modularity and locality these are the very very three important factors of a proper VLSI design. In the next tutorial we will understand that how the major concepts are there for an IC fabrication and also the CMOS N-well process and P-well process, the overall structure of IC fabrication. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you.